Hey guys, it's Jeff with the Cybertruck family, and today we are going to go through how to disconnect the high voltage and low voltage battery in, in case of an emergency, and this would normally be done by fire department first responders in the case of an accident. Uh, and I want to shout out to Wes Morrill on X, who graciously got this information to me very quickly when I posted that I couldn't find this information on the Tesla website. So they've updated that, and I'll put a link in the video to where that information is on their site now. But uh, it's a really easy process, so let's just go through it real quick. So what you're gonna do is obviously open the frunk, and this little plastic piece here that runs the full length of the top of the frunk compartment is what you're gonna to need to remove, and it's very easy to remove. You can just kind of use a little something to pry up under there and get it started. And then you can just use your hand to pop the connectors carefully, one at a time. And there's one at the end, one here. There's one in the middle. And then there's two more down at this end. So you're gonna pop all those, pull this out, and what you will see immediately is this is the high voltage first responder cut tape and you're, it says in the instructions that you're to double cut this this double this uh, high voltage cable and then secondarily what you're to do is go over here to this low voltage battery the 48 volt battery and disconnect these two leads from it to disable the low voltage 48 volt battery so that's all there is to it. I will give you a tip on putting this back, which is that uh, once you get it seated back in here, and I won't go through that with the camera running because it's a little hard one-handed, but actually I think I did it, is you're gonna wanna use your fingers to tuck this, this rubber bead back up underneath, like what I'm doing here to make sure it's tucked up under so you maintain the proper waterproofing going forward so if you test this out just make sure you tuck that back up underneath there when you get done all right i hope this helps thanks a lot bye bye